What we're doing is we're looking, doing a study looking at um, over the season we're going to work with the Otago team so we're capturing their five home games and what we're doing is we're putting um, these little, they're kind of little accelerometers that sit behind the right ear and what they do is they measure the acceleration profile of um, the head of a player when they go into contact so it kind of gives us an understanding of the forces um, that the head experiences when they you know when they ruck or when they scrum or go into a tackle it just um, it sends out a signal and we have these transceivers here which um, pick up the signal and those kind of and then that relays information back to a tablet so kind of in real time we're able to see you know how many impacts that that player has and the forces in that impact. Um, and what we're looking at, kind of one of our, kind of we've got two kind of aspects of the study that we're looking at is we've kind of measured the player's brain health um, during the preseasons. And what we're looking to see is um, if those change over the season. And if they do change over the season, what we're interested to see, do those changes correlate to you know, the number of impacts that they've been exposed to or the severity of impacts that they had over a season. Uh, and then we're, kind of the other aspect we're looking at is uh, their neck strengths. We've measured their neck strength at the start of the season. What we're interested to see is if their neck strength, um, so if player A has a very strong neck and player B has a slightly weaker neck, does, does that correlate to um, the impacts that they'll experience over the season so you know if does a stronger neck reduce the severity of the impacts or do they have less impacts so kind of to as a way to look at if we strengthen a player's neck can we reduce um, the forces that they experience 